Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Smoke Cookie. So on the screen in the background, I got my new Kilo loadout that I believe is probably the best uh, weapon setup for Warzone in the game right now with the balance changes that we had a couple weeks ago that nerfed the Graw and uh, buffed a few other weapons. What's interesting is that the Kilo actually wasn't buffed at all, but its main competitor, which is the Graw, uh, you know, the, the main dominant weapon of Warzone was recently nerfed. So, with that being done, the Kilo, I think, has risen to the top spot. Now, I've been using the Graw here and there since the nerf, and I think it's still, like, if it's not the best gun in Warzone, besides the Kilo, it's definitely at least top three. I, I, it's definitely up there with, like, Kilo's really good, uh, Bruin's really good. If we're talking just ranged ARs, I still would rather have the Graw for extreme range engagements over like the Ram or the M4. And I really think it's a lot better than the M13. I think the M13 is overrated by a lot of people. Like, I, I just don't care for the damage that it does. It feels very insignificant and not a fair trade-off for uh, the accuracy on it. Especially when guns like the Graw and the Kilo are already accurate already, but they, they do a little bit more damage. So been having a lot of success with this kilo setup. I basically have the longest barrel on it. Commando foregrip, monolithic suppressor, with the VLK sight in the 60 round mags. What's interesting regarding the VLK sight, I, I like it for the zoom for Warzone, because a lot of, like, this gun doesn't really have anything spec for speed, and before in the past I would use attack laser on my assault rifles to kind of make up for, like, the three other attachments that I'm using that basically slow down the mobility in the ADS time. But since I've been rocking an overkill class for the past month or so with an MP5 as a secondary, I kind of like to go all in on the range on my assault rifle. And then if I need to like run faster, if I, if I need to clear a building or do some kind of breach, then I just use the MP5. And the MP5 I have kitted for like all in close quarter combat uh, situations. It was nerfed, but mostly the 10 millimeter portion of the MP5 was nerfed, and I don't use that kind of ammunition. I just use the regular 45 round mags. Um, they nerfed the collapsible stock, but I don't really notice it too much after a few games. You kind of get used to it. The main thing that I changed was on my MP5 is I used to have the integral suppressor, and now I have the regular monolithic suppressor. The reason for that is because they nerfed the range a little bit and the mono suppressor actually bumps your range up 7%. So, been doing that with the MP5. Been using this gun for over a month, probably my favorite close quarter gun in the game. However, I am going to try this Kilo setup with an FAL secondary because the FAL is by far the fastest killing gun in the game up close with the bus that it's got. In fact, in my opinion, it's it's quite overpowered. It needs a nerf, but Infinity Ward hasn't addressed it yet. I don't know why. I guess they're too busy screwing up the right tech in Warzone to actually care. But they overbuffed the FAL. The FAL was already a really good gun, and this thing kills exclusive ace to the video. It kills faster, twice as fast than most of the assault rifles in the game, which is insane. So I put up a little like more Merc foregrip, no stock setup. Basically, I'm trying to turn the FAL into this close range SMG type weapon that I plan on using with my Kilo just to see how that works out. But for now, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Kilo. It's a really good gun. I know it's been a good gun for a while. It's just been, like I said, overshadowed by the Graw, just because the Graw has slightly better accuracy. And it still might, honestly. Like, the damage at range, I was looking at the stats, Understood. and apparently Kilo does more damage at a distance now with the range nerfs that the Graw received. The Graw received, like, a 5% nerf to its its most used Archangel barrel, and then it got a slight nerf to its other, its second long, its other long barrel, which was the Nexus, but everybody used Archangel. Um, it doesn't feel like it kills faster than the Graw, per se, but maybe a little more accurate for sustained fire to distance. I'm still not completely sure if it's better than the Graw post-nerf. Um, I know it's not as good as the Graw was before the nerf. Um, if you guys still like the Graw, and you're thinking that it's garbage now because of the nerf, that's absolutely not the case. Like, I still think the Graw is really good. I feel like the Kilo is definitely with the OK. It's a super accurate gun. I noticed they added a little bit more random recoil to the Graw. That's a little annoying, but it's not too hard to get used to. I mean, the Gron needed a nerf. I, I don't think anybody that plays Warzone would argue that. And uh, same could probably be said for the MP5. 
But yeah, definitely try out the Kilo. I, I know a lot of other YouTubers are jumping on it, and I want to test it out for myself, and it definitely lives up to the hype. And I noticed that the uh, the reload speed, if you want to slap the 100 round mags on there, is actually not awful. So if you want to have this crazy, like, LMG 100 mag Kilo build, you can totally get away with that. I mean, this gun is basically a laser beam, but unlike the M13, it actually does pretty decent damage. Whereas the M13, if you don't get headshots, it's just, you know, a hit marker machine. So, yeah, I, I really like this gun. Definitely try it out if you guys haven't already for the new Season 4 changes that they did. Um, I'm going to give the FL more of a shot. I have been I like to experiment and use a bunch of different guns. I don't like using the same stuff all the time. The past couple weeks I've been sniping with the HDR and the Axe 50 and that's been a lot of fun. I feel like, again, with the Gra nerf, a lot more guns are viable now because Gra used to kind of be like a, a counter to snipers. So now that it's nerfed, you can actually snipe a little bit without worrying about getting beamed across the map by a Gra user. So overall, just I really like the balance changes they did. I don't agree with the FAL change. But luckily, not too many people are jumping on that bandwagon yet. As soon as they do, it'll become like an akimbo snake shot problem. Where it should, it's probably going to have to get patched immediately when more people jump on it. I think the only thing holding it back from being more mainstream is that it's semi-auto. And a lot of people just don't like that, especially in close quarters. They don't really like having to manually control their rate of fire with a gun like that. But if that ever catches on, it's going to be really annoying. Because I, I have come across FAO users up close and... I don't have time to react with my MP5, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. And we're supposed to get a couple of new map changes. I thought we were getting a new map uh, first week of August, but apparently it's just going to be like a new train station or area that they're adding to for dance. But whatever. Just a quick video. I had background audio that didn't record in this gameplay with all my friends that we won. Um, so I figured I'd just give you guys a little background on how I feel about the class instead. And uh, I like it. Good, uh, good kilo setup. Kilo MP5 setup. Probably the new meta right now. I want to say it's the new meta. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like and sub for more, and I'll catch y'all later. McCookie out.